head coach, Donnie Jones, sits down and uh, joins us. Any road win is a good win. Your basketball team had to make some big plays in key moments tonight, Donnie, in some tough situations, calls and crowd, and overcame that to get a nice win tonight. Yeah, that's uh, any time, you know, we call that a road kill. We can get a win. It's a, it's a huge uh, uh, momentum builder for our young basketball team, uh, Mark, and you know, I was really proud how we kept our composure. You know, we had the lead pretty much most of the game. We lost it there for one second, but, you know, we had our best player, uh, our leader, Keith Clanton, go out, and, uh, you know, what happens next is Isaiah uh, Sykes stepped up and he just took over the last uh, several minutes of the game. Uh, you mentioned Isaiah Sykes. Come on a really key possession, son. I want to go back. You're up 61 to 60. Uh, under four to play. Shot clock winding down and Casey Wilson hit a big time three. A few feet beyond the three-point line. That was huge. Got you back to a four-point lead. Yeah, it was huge. A huge uh, shot at the end of the clock. And you got to make plays on the road, Mark. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys come off the bench, Stephon Blair, and I thought Dylan Correll gave this great energy in the post because they were getting the ball inside. I thought zone was good for us. They made some shots tonight. They haven't shot extremely well from the three-point line. And, and tonight was a night, you know, they hit nine for 20. Uh, they were coming in shooting 25%. So uh, give them credit. That's a very good basketball team. And, you know, I know they're one and nine, but don't get caught up in the record right now. That team's going to win some games when they get into the the lake. You talked about Isaiah Sykes, Tony. The two possessions. He makes the great spin, gets the kiss off the rim, and drops in. Then he made the great pass when the defense came to him. Those are big plays you need from big guys. No, it really is. And you know what? I was proud of those guys. We didn't get caught up in taking three-point shots all the time. We kept attacking. We kept running offense. Uh, we played with much better composure than how we finished the game against Bethune Cookman. And Tristan Spurlock goes to the line, makes big free throws. Uh, Isaiah Sykes goes to the line, makes big free throws, and uh, makes an incredible hustle play to, uh, to end the Game. Yeah, that's kind of the play you want to always show your players as far as hustle goes. It was a night, Donnie, that, again, Keith picks up that awkward technical, comes out. You sat him. You felt confident to get some minutes from some other guys. And as you said, Dylan Crow gave us some good minutes and Steph on board. These are great learning experiences for these guys. But I want to ask about Calvin. I think uh, everybody took a deep breath. He hit the first shot, and all of a sudden you saw the Calvin that you were waiting for. He was a much different player tonight. No, he really was. You could see any time the guy claps for himself when he makes the shots, you know, it's a, lot, it's a big sign of relief for the pressure. He's worked so hard, and, uh, and he made some big plays, and I thought he did a much better job. Uh, he had four turnovers in the first half, only one in the second half. And, you know, he's still learning. The, the, the speed of the game and uh, when to slow it down, when to speed it up. But a uh, great effort by him tonight. Late game possessions. You had some sputtering moments out there, some turnovers that I know are head scratches. But were you happy with the late game half set offense tonight? Yeah, I was. Uh, I thought we, we did a much better job. You know, they have some big guards, and that's a big zone. And uh, I thought we did a good job moving the ball and not being in a hurry. We got the ball inside several times, uh, which I thought was much better. Uh, for Keith, who got fouled, and Casey a few times. So, and Z, he he penetrated the zone. Uh, we put him out at the front where he can make some things happen and took Calvin off the ball where he can try to get some shots. What does Casey do, Donnie, when he shows that three-point range? Because they're asking him to play a four, but yet tonight he showed tremendous outside shooting ability. Yeah, he's been shooting the ball unbelievably well. And, uh, you know, to have a stretch four-man like him really changes it, and that's what we like to have. And, uh, you know, I, I was really proud that uh, you know, he had three fouls. Tristan had three fouls, and so did uh, uh, Keith. Keith. And so it was very concerning, you know, with three offensive guys like that coming late into the game. Nice win tonight, couple of days off, a big week next week. What do you hope a win like this means? What do you want your team to take away from this tonight? Yeah, well, you know, we'll sit back and we'll watch it tomorrow. We'll get back, watch a little film, uh, take a day off tomorrow because we still got a, a big stretch coming up and, uh, and learn from this. But, uh, it, you know, I think anytime you can get a road win, they've, had, they've only lost in this building 30 times uh, since this place has been built, and this is a great program. And so when you come in and beat a program that's got this kind of tradition, uh, it says a lot about these kids. Congratulations, Coach. Thanks, Mark. Donnie Jones, nice one at 75-71 over with, uh, uh, Old Dominion. Knights fans, come out and support Military Appreciation Day December 18th as we take on Miami.